Well, praise the name of Jesus. What a wonderful day it is again today to rejoice greatly in the presence of the Lord. For the Bible says rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I know that I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Therefore, today we have an opportunity to rejoice because the joy of the Lord is our strength. I'd like to encourage you from Ephesians chapter 3 and in verses 20. Ephesians 3 verses 20 says this. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that is at work in us. Another translation says, Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. In other words, God has committed himself to you as his child. And he's saying this, Try me, test me, Go beyond your imaginations and go beyond your speaking and I'll still outmatch that. So God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you think or even speak according to the power that is at work in you. In other words, he says, I'm going to work and do a great and mighty thing in your life beyond what you think and speak. You know what that tells me? It tells me this, you are actually in charge of your life. You're actually in charge of the outcome of your life. Don't take an excuse that your life is going the way it is because of what people are saying. No, no, no. That is an external thing that you're looking at that you don't want to take control over. We have been told to take control of our thought life and take control of our speaking life. When you think right, you speak right, you live right. And that is what God is saying. It is not what people say. You, people are not responsible over your life. Who says you're going to be because of what they say? You are going to be because of what you say and what you think. And therefore, God is reminding us today, you are totally in charge of your life. You are who you say you are. You are who you think you are. You are what you are because of what you say and what you think. Therefore, you and I today need to change the way we think, need to change the way we speak because God wants to supersede that. Oh, I can be a blessing to many people. Oh, I'm not too sure about that. Well, God won't do that for you. But if I can believe God that I am going to be a blessing to people, you know what? I will believe God for that. And God says, I'm able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you think. Why? Because he's going to give me a seed. He gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Because I think that way, God is going to give me an opportunity to make it happen. Therefore, you and I today are having an opportunity to allow God to give us things, to make things happen in our lives because we are thinking it and because we are saying it. Therefore, our thinking and our saying will give us the results that God has already committed himself to do on our behalf. I'd like to encourage you today. Your life can be what you think it be and your life will be what you say it will be. Your family can be what you think it to be and your family can be what you say it's going to be. Well, you might say that I don't think so. Yes, so. Because what you think and what you say is so powerful in your life. Remember, the three Hebrew children, they were thrown into the fire. And Nebuchadnezzar said, there is no other God that can save you from my hands. And you know what? They began to think we are the children of God. They began to say we are the children of God. And as long as they thought and spoke in line of what God says, guess what? They overcame the wrath of Nebuchadnezzar. And guess what? Nebuchadnezzar said from today onwards, if anybody does not serve the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they are going to be destroyed. Look at the power of thinking and the power of speaking according to the word of God. You just don't think positively. You just don't speak positively. You think and speak in line with what God has said to you because there is power in that. And God wants you today to be explosive in your thoughts and in your speech according to his power. I like to encourage you today be an explosive wherever you go in your thoughts and in your speech according to the word of God and let God do wonders on your behalf so you stay blessed and have a wonderful day